Okay, here we go. CES, here we come. So it looks like we found ourselves at the car section. This next one I'm super excited about just because I'm kind of obsessed with Jeep Wranglers. 3D printers using 3D printers. That's pretty dope. Nikon had this super dope thing where they had these two cameras on these robots that filmed you and filled themselves. That was awesome. <laughs> Joe McNally, right here, chatting away. Awesome. Well, let's take a look at this brand new lens that Nikon just brought out. This is a brand new 180 to 400 millimeter. This has literally just come out. Um, this is an extremely fast lens. Like the focusing is great. They won't let me put a memory card in here, so I can't actually show you any footage. It has a one and a 1.4 times converter um, that happens just on the side here. Really slick and really easy to use. Full VR on there, four stops of VR apparently. So um, it's a pretty nice lens and I think you could shoot handheld. If you wanted to do sports photography, wildlife photography, anything like that, I think the 180 to 400 mil brand new lens from Nikon could be a really great choice. Well, this is why I chose Nikon all those years ago. Look at their lenses. Look at how many incredible lenses they have. Blackberry. Definitely the winning booth for the funnest looking, yep. funnest looking and just the, the best experience the goes to Polaroid. People. This was awesome. This was amazing. They nailed it. My favorite booth so far by a long way. So we're just checking out the wall here at Samsung. I got told off for filming, It's a bit weird. So here we are inside the Canon booth. This definitely wins the most boring booth and exhibit of CES 2018. Literally nothing going on. I would not recommend coming here at all. It's canon, what happened? You, you failed. Miserable. Okay, so we're here at the Sony booth and I'm looking at the A9. Now, I'm a Nikon shooter, DSLR shooter for a long time. And I'll tell you what, this thing is so fast at fo focusing. I've just been practicing with this guy dancing behind me and it would just focus absolutely non-stop. Whatever he would do, wherever I would move, it was keeping focus. It was absolutely amazing. I have been a DSLR shooter for years. I didn't think that I was gonna be impressed with the Sony booth at all and with the A9 and I looked at the A7S Mark III and everything like that and I gotta say I was very very impressed and if I didn't have all of this Nikon glass I would probably move over to Sony but I'd have to do some studio tests but overall that was super super impressive so this here is worth a mention from Frame TV is a TV but it looks like a picture but it actually has a matte effect and you cannot tell it is a TV. It is awesome. Now this really is an amazing immersive experience. Dolby Digital Surround. TVs everywhere. Stunning. LG Chloe, the robot that failed three times during their presentation. Hello Siri. Okay Google. This is how comfy the carpets are. Carpets are the best at CES. So the final thing we're going to do at the end now is we're actually going to take a lift and it's in an autonomous car so it's going to drive itself. To Lane change checking. We're in a self-driving vehicle by Aptiv and um, this is amazing. It doesn't feel like we're driving in a really slow car that's been really cautious. It feels like I like there's a driver in front of me but she's not actually touching anything she's there for safety but it feels to me that like she's driving this is so freaking weird and awesome and also talks to you thank you sir oh he's a robot we got a he's a robot
Basically, Ed's gone off to the restroom, left it on my own. And I don't know what to do. This place is so huge.